Hey everybody, Josh here from Edmonton RV. Today we're going to be going over butyl and putty sealants for your RV roof and side. There's lots of different products out there to do lots of different jobs and we find in our shop that it's very common people don't quite know exactly what they need and they might end up buying the wrong product. So if you're putting something on the roof of your RV, resealing a window on the side or anything like that, you need to know what product to use. Watch this video and you'll be an RV butyl and putty expert by the end. So these days, when it comes to installing things on the roof or the side of your RV, there's generally three schools of thought. There are putty tapes, which are either gray putty or usually a darker gray or a brown paper roll that you can find them, or in smaller prepackaged rolls like this. There are butyl tapes, which look very similar, but have a different application. And there are leak repair tape, such as this Eternabond here, which is a very popular RV leak repair tape. Uh, looks like that. So generally the difference between these products is where you're using them. Putty tapes are the most common that are out there in the industry. And putty has been around since the 70s because it is just a very good material to actually make a seal between two barriers. So a lot of times if you're installing a vent on your roof of your RV, um, or if you're putting windows in the side of your RV, it's gonna be the best line of defense against water going inside. The way these products work is it's almost like a plumber's putty. So it comes on a tape roll, and this product will get put on the back of a window frame or around the bottom flange of a vent or a skylight. And then when you screw through the window or the skylight or whatever it is you're sealing, this putty will actually squish out. It's almost like using plumber's putty in a drain. It's really sticky. And then when it squishes out, you can trim that off after. Now, these were very popular in the 70s and the 80s because pretty much every RV roof was made with either tin or aluminum or fiberglass. And the putty works really, really well on those applications. Now, when it comes to EPDM or TPO roofs, the more common rubber roofs that have been around since the late 90s, early 2000s, people were finding that these putty tapes actually caused issues. Because they have some chemicals in them that react negatively with that rubber, they actually can cause issues, namely they cause the rubber to bubble up um, and it can actually compromise and damage your roof if you use these straight putty tapes on your rubber roof. So they developed products called butyl tape. Now butyl tape has the exact same function as putty tape and to be honest, it almost looks exactly the same, which is why this can be so confusing when you walk into an RV shop. The main difference physically is that butyl tape looks a little bit lighter than its putty counterpart, and it doesn't look as grainy. So if we get really close here, you can see that the putty tape has almost little um, perforations in it, whereas the butyl tape is perfectly smooth. It almost looks like a really, really long Laffy Taffy or something like that. And the butyl tape does not contain the harmful chemicals that the putty tape does. So when it comes to installing things on a rubber roof, either a vent or a skylight or an antenna or anything like that, you want to make sure you use butyl tape. That's going to be the proper sealant to use there. Again, if you use putty, it can and most likely will cause you issues. So that's not ideal. Now, at least in our store, but in a lot of RV places, you can buy butyl tape a few different ways. So it comes in these rolls. You can also purchase these hatch installation kits from companies like JR Products. And this one here includes a roll of butyl and a set of nice pen head screws that you can use to fasten things to your roof. Um, so there's white and black screws and then usually just enough butyl tape to go around the perimeter of a vent as I drop it on the floor here. Um, now, very recently, within the last year or two, Dicor has also come out with another product that's butyl rubber sealant in a tube. So this one here for the time being only comes in a gray color, which isn't the end of the world because these are usually gray in color anyway. Um, but this is actually a butyl sealant that has the exact same function as these for using on your rubber roof. 
but you can actually squirt it out of a caulking gun. And that's generally how it's done when the trailer manufacturers are building the trailers. Now they don't have these little tubes, they get giant pails and they have a, a special system that almost looks like a car wash sprayer. Um, and that'll actually apply the butyl in a much more consistent manner on the bottom of skylights and vents and that kind of thing. But this is actually readily available to purchase now. Um, now we find that this container usually goes a little bit less distance than the standard roll does. So usually we just recommend using the roll, but if you don't enjoy getting putty or butyl all over your fingers um, and you want to have an easy and um, kind of consistent application, then the butyl tubes actually work very well. It's the same base product as these, just in a more convenient uh, form factor. Now, the last sealant that's out there that we typically see recommended are leak repair tapes. So the one we carry in our store is called Eternabond. There's lots of other flavors of these, and then people also um, have used things like flex seal, flex tape, that kind of thing. Now, a lot of the more consumer ones actually have some of the same problems that the putty tapes do, in that they have some chemicals in them that while they're good for using around your house, they can actually negatively react with the RV roof. So Eternabond actually has none of those chemicals in them, so this can be applied straight to your rubber roof, and we find it's the safest safest and also the most durable product to use. Now this one's nice because you can get it in these 10 foot packages. You can also purchase 50 foot rolls. In our shop, we just sell it by the foot if you only need a little bit of it as well. And they also make different widths. So this one here is a four inch, but they also make a two inch, a six inch, an eight inch. I think they go all the way up to 12 inches these days. So you can get a really, really big piece of this tape. And if you have a bigger area to repair on your roof, something like a, you know, tree damage or a gash or tear or cut in your rubber membrane, this stuff works really well. Now, some people also use this to install vents and skylights and things where there's a flange on the roof. It's not really recommended for that, just because typically you want the seal to be underneath where the screws are going through. So typically for that application, we still recommend using the butyl or the putty tape, just because that ends up being the better seal. So just to recap, the putty tape is great for any aluminum, fiberglass, uh, any sort of metal or hard plastic roof. You can use these to install vents, skylights, satellite dishes, anything you're putting on the roof. And then for every trailer, this is what we recommend for installing windows, doors, any sort of uh, hatches, any clearance lights, any lights in general, anything you're screwing to the side of your RV. Now, when it comes to rubber roofs, whenever you're installing something on these, you want to use butyl tape. The butyl is going to make sure that it lasts as long as it can, and it doesn't damage the material that is in the RV rubber roof, because those are very expensive to repair. And finally, the Eternabond is great for any sort of incidental repairs you may need to do. Things like cuts and gashes in the rubber, anything where you need to do a quick but long-lasting fix where you want to put it on once and then not have any problems again. Thank you so much for watching our video today. We hope it's informative and it helps you purchase what you need to seal your RV roofs and sides. If you have any questions about the products we've mentioned or anything else you've come across, just leave us a comment down below and we can reply and help you figure out what the best product is gonna to be to use. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have much more content about RV sealing and other products that you can use to help you with your RV repairs. And if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to visit our website at Edmonton RV com. We have a wealth of information. We have an online store where you can purchase these products and more directly from us. And you can check out all of our other video and blog content to help you fix your RV. Thanks so much and have a great day. We'll see you next time.